It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Boy, if you don't I put up in that doo doo lappy. She know I'm getting money in a lobby. What's good? It's your boy Steph here for Waste Shoes TV. Today we're gonna talk about these 2K ratings, man. Some of these ratings are warranted. Other ratings. I don't know what, I don't know what Ryan 2K was thinking. So first we have Markel Fultz, the number one pick to the 76ers. The 80 overall is cool, but then when you, you know, into consideration the overall of other players on this list, is it too early to give him an 80 overall? He played well in the summer league, but you know, it's a little too early to give, you know, a player an 80 overall. I would at least start him high, high 70s, maybe up you know, to the 80 rank. Next, we got my guy, Lonzo Ball. Now, once again, 2K did a great job with this player model. It looks almost exactly, if not exactly, like Lonzo. The 80 overall thing, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. I feel like it's too soon to give these players these kind of high overalls. He's another one of those guys that played really well in the summer league. So I understand why 2K would want to give him, you know, a little extra on the top. But like I said, it might be a little too early for that. I will give 2K credit though, they at least gave him an 80, but also gave Markel an 80, so there's at least some kind of consistency there. Now this is where it gets interesting. We have D'Angelo Russell. I don't know how some people may feel about D'Angelo or how they may not feel about D'Angelo, but the guy can play basketball. D'Angelo Russell is an 80 overall, just like Lonzo and Markel. Now is it fair to say that all three of those guards are on par with one another? It's tough to compare those few games in the summer league to a player who's played an entire season in the NBA already. This just brings me back to my previous point. I feel like 80 is about right for D'Angelo, but maybe 80 might be a little too high for Marco Alonso. Now, Swaggy P is my guy, so maybe I'm biased, but I definitely think 74 might be a little too low for Swaggy P. You know, he didn't have the greatest season last year, I understand that, but 74, I don't like that. Maybe Swaggy P will see this, as I'm sure he plays 2K, and so push him even harder to get to that 80, 85 way. The 85 way, by the time playoff comes around and things like that. But come on, Ronnie, you did my man Swaggy P dirt. All right, so Ben McElmore's player model, great, A1. 2K does a good job on that every year. But if Ben McElmore is a 73 and Swaggy P's only a 74. Boy, if you don't get something, something went wrong there. No disrespect to Ben McElmore. Swaggy P is more than one overall point better than Ben McElmore. Let's just be honest. 2K could either lower his overall to maybe like a 70, just boost up Swaggy P to maybe the 76, 77, maybe even 78 that he deserves. Then we have Dwight. 81 for Dwight, man. I think this 81, 80 range is the perfect place to put Dwight. He's obviously not the same player that he once was, but Dwight still does things on the court that I think do warrant him this 80 overall. Dwight's just one of those guys that just needs to just focus, focus on the game. We all know how nice Dwight Howard can be, so we're just waiting for the day when he plays like Orlando Magic Dwight again. Like how you get dropped from your hometown team, your hometown team. Dwight over here on Twitter talking about he want to shoot threes and stuff. Dwight, just chill. Just get in that gym, work on the mid-range game, knock your free throws down, back to the basket. You be straight, my guy. I think Gordon deserves this 88. He's a solid overall player. This 88 at the start gives him some room to possibly break that 90, maybe 92 range. I just think Gordon's one of those guys that he's not flashy, but he just does it all for his basketball team. And I think he's a perfect fit for the Boston Celtics, so I'm anxious to see what he does this season. My guy, poor Zing God. I love this. I love this 86. I love his motto. It actually looks like him this year. I think KP has a lot, a lot of intangibles, a lot of skill to his game that I think this 86 is well deserved. Maybe I'm from New York. Maybe I'm a Knicks fan. So maybe I'm biased. But you tell me, there's not a lot of teams that wouldn't want a Kristaps Porzing. I love this 86. I'm calling it right now. By the end of the season, he's going to get that 90. Mark my words. John Wall hitting that 90. Well deserved. 
well deserved. John Wall's been leading his team since he's been drafted. And even though they folded against the Celtics, John Wall was frying. To be honest with you, I think John Wall's the best point guard in the East. So this 90, no question. And this 90 overall goes perfect with all this money the Wizards just gave him. Byree, the handle god of the NBA. I think this 90 is right. People have been debating this whole John Wall, Kyrie Irving thing. They're just two different players though. So I don't think you can adequately compare the two. But we all know Kyrie's a killer. Kyrie knows how to put the ball in the basket. Kyrie's the king of skipping through that lane. Lay. Skip through that lane for lay, yeah. But yeah, no, I definitely like this 90, and I definitely think it'll bump up by the end of the season. And I don't think those Cavs jerseys look too bad either. And then we got the two Batman in a Golden State. Not the biggest fan, but I do respect their games. I do respect what they're doing. You know, Curry's gonna always be Curry. So the 94, we know why. Not much needs to be said there. 96 for KD, not much to be said. KD's a bucket, he's a problem on the court. Second best player in the league to me. His performance in the finals, amazing. He led that team. I could see KD being like a 97. I also like how 2K finally got his body type right. KD has a very long and wiry frame, pause. But I think 2K did a good job of representing that well. I hope they keep these different body types for anyone to create your my player. I think it would add some flavor to the game.